Hi everybody. Um, 20 years ago, something like that, I was just learning TCL and um, one of the first scripts that I wrote was a baseball, One, I should say one of the first graphical programs I wrote, game type programs, was a baseball batting practice uh, script. And uh, I thought about it the other day and I thought, well, I wonder if that thing runs, you know, with the new Tickle uh, versions. So. I grabbed out of my revision control and I copied it to this directory and I thought it'd be a neat video to document uh, how much work is going to be needed to get this thing running. So let's start off by seeing if it runs. This is straight out of revision control. No modifications. Okay, it doesn't, doesn't run. So I know what that error is. I've seen it before. That's going to be the initial line is wrong for my machine. Um, I could use ENV to find it automatically, but there's there's a reason behind the scenes why I don't do that. It's, it's beyond the scope of this particular video. But let's change it. Let's change that line so that it finds uh, the Wish program, and let's see what it does now. All right, so it ran. It doesn't like that path because that was my path in 1998, and on my home machine, it's it's going to be J Herman. Let's see what that does. Okay, another bad path. Let's change that to ENV home. Now let's see what happens. Oop. That's the dollar sign. Oop. Oh, okay, we're running. Let's read the instructions. Uh, some things I'll want to change on this set of revisions to make this larger. Mm, change that email address that hasn't been valid in years. How do you play the thing? Let's see. Start off with three outs, earn a bonus out every 100 points. Pitches are random. Gameplay game uses mouse or keyboard. I would use the keyboard, so keyboard A advances the runner, D returns the runner, S swings the bat. Okay, let's see if we can get it to work. S swings the bat. Ooh, that pitch was kind of fast. So one thing I'm going to need to do is change the speed of the pitch. It's obviously was figured out on a slower machine than what I'm currently using. Well, I haven't hit the ball yet. Ah, uh, well, let me fix the speed of the pitch. That's a good starting point. All right. Where would I set the speed? Oh, I bet you that functions at pitch ball. Let's see what we're doing here. I need the loop for moving the ball. This looks like it. Looks like I have to move the ball 136 positions as it travels towards the batter. Uh, Ah, here we go. Here's a loop here, a delay loop. Kind of a cheesy way of doing it, but... Alright, so this would be for a fastball. But it looked like the fastballs when I was playing it were, were okay. It was actually the slow... The normal balls were faster than the fastball. So let's do the special case for fastball. When speed is high, then that's a fastball, apparently. Let me move this outside the loop. Let's just double the delay. There we go. Double the delay for normal pitches. Fast ball pitches. There. Now let's see what it does. Yeah, that's that's better. That speed's actually doable. That's a normal speed. Uh, my 
cursor is skull over here. Oh, I remember. You, you got to use the mouse to aim at the ball. That's right. Yeah. So based on where you hit the ball at, whether you hit the sweet spot or not, uh, determines power. Also, the, the angles determined by where the X is, uh, your cursor, your mouse cursor relative to the ball to determine how it comes off the bat. If you're low on the ball, it's going to pop it up. If you're high on the ball, it's going to be a grounder, as I recall. And I have this arrow here. I remember that as being this, the wind. So the larger the arrow is, the more wind you have. And of course, this shows the direction that the wind is pushing against the ball when I hit it. It's going to be. It will slow up the ball. All right. Now that we know what we're doing, let's play a game. See how we can, how far I can get. So these pitches, you know, uh, that was a fastball. Um, these pitches take different mathematical uh, formulas, and like the sine. That's a well, that wasn't a sine wave, but it was a combination of sine and sine and something else more than likely. That's just fast straight. Sh um, whew, I was safe on that one. Um, fast straight ball in that last one, and that was just kind of random knuckleball type thing. I I wish I could remember what that function was. It had to be a combination of sine and something else but that last one looked like it was a sine wave anyway so a lot going on here the ball uh, changes size to give you perspective on on position of the ball as it's approaching the batter when pitched and pop-ups the ball gets larger so that's you know to indicate altitude I'm popping them up I'm getting under the ball when I'm swinging but this is playing pretty good um, game over uh, I probably should make those larger all this is okay it's adequate but game over I think we want to make larger so let's start with that that's easy should be an easy change it was in all caps there it is big bold font yeah long when I was first programming these games I, I would randomly put um, well, not randomly, I would put the fonts inside the um, script itself. And now I have a library that has the fonts that I like to use. If I can type. Okay, so here's where I've defined big, bold font. I think at this time I want to add a library that I, that I use for fonts. All right, this guy. First, I've got to change it here. So it's a global variable coming out of one of my libraries. See what that looks like. I only changed. Hmm. What did I change? <laughs> Let's look at that again. Game over stuff. I probably just screwed up. Yeah, these are probably going to be too big now. All right. Uh, let's go to the title page. Make it. I want to change the title. All right, let's see what that does. Okay, uh, we made that larger, that looks okay, 
I made that larger that looks good yeah I like the way that looks I don't like that that's wrong and email address is wrong hadn't been that email address hasn't been good in 20 years probably all right let's change it to my current email I don't work at Techie Instruments, so we'll just get rid of that altogether. There we go. I should probably add more better instructions to the explanation. Let's do that. Okay, where are we? Instructions just went right by it. Okay, here we go. Instructions. Okay, what am I doing here? Um, let's change it up. like I'm adding 20 on those okay down here Changing this so that I can easily add stuff or remove stuff. I believe, I believe all of those were increments of 20. Now let's see how that looks. Make sure I didn't break anything. Okay. I think I'll move. I think I'll move the email address up underneath my name, move this up a little bit, and add something about using the mouse to hit the ball. Let's see. Okay, so I want to move the email address up. See, I added 50 there, so let's change that to 150 and see what that does. Let's see how that looks. Excellent. All right, so now I'm going to move these up enough to where I can add at least one line so I can talk about, um, so I can explain about using the mouse when you're hitting. All right, what am I doing here? Let's move it up. Let's move it up. See what that does. And I need to add a line. Now let me think where I would want it. It says each game starts with so many outs, bonus outs, or whatever your random pitches. Okay, let's just add it here. Um, use mouse pointer in right screen when hitting. That ought to be clear enough. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, looks pretty good. Use mouse pointer. Oh, misspelled pointer. Let me fix that. Use mouse pointer and right screen when hitting. How about move mouse pointer? Hmm. Move mouse pointer and right screen when hitting. Move mouse pointer over ball and right screen when hitting. 
don't really like that either. How should I word this? Eh, you know what? It's good enough. Better than it was. All right. Let's play a couple games and play a couple games and see how it looks, how it plays. See if there's anything else I want to do at this time. Basically, I just want to get it running to its original, basically to its original form, which is looks like we may already be there. Um, title page looks pretty good. Let's just play some games. But definitely I will eventually want to add some sounds to this to make it better. Um, but back in the old days, back in the 90s, uh, the way I did sounds back then, if I even did them at all, was to push data uh, through the sound driver under in the dev directory. That's how I would have done it. But now um, it's a lot easier and even more, you know, just more convenient to use sound files and uh, run them through whatever program you have available. And an easy way to implement the sounds uh, initially is, is just to have a bunch of sound files. Was I out? No, I was safe. Uh, have sound files and just operate off of those. Um, I do like to integrate them into the into the scripts, but that takes more time. And uh, usually, um, I will I will implement the sound file solution initially. Uh, uh, just for ease of implementation and then once I get it the way I want then I will integrate it into the scripts foul that one back fastball fouled it off uh, it's terrible I got five points. Woohoo! Three singles. Is that right? Oh, a strikeout. Strikeout counts as negative. So I got 15 points, three times five for singles, and then minus 10 for a strikeout. So that explains the score of five. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah. Strikeout is minus 10. All right, let's try it again. I, the, I should probably do some more formatting on the. Um, title page but uh, eh, not for this video I'll do that later and post an improved version of this script later so I have that arrow showing that you need to be paying attention to the left hand side after you hit the ball oh boy the wind's blowing in my face right now Nope, didn't make it. Kind of suck at this game. <laughs> I used to be pretty good at it. Of course, I haven't played it in a long damn time. But it does feel right to me. If the timing feels about what I remember. So you can earn cycles. So for every time you get a single, double, triple, and home run, you'll you'll register a cycle, and that gives bonus points, as I recall. <laughs> My batting average was 500, which would be awesome for the le major leagues, but for this game, kind of sucks. Yeah, let's play again. I forgot how much fun this was. Probably not so much fun watching it. Uh, 
I don't know what kind of pitch that was. Whew. Ah. There we go. Come on, we'll go for two, go for two, go for two. Yeah, I'm up easy. Piece of cake. Oop, got all of that one. That might be a home run record. 774 feet. Ooh, boy, that had some power. Get out of there. That was a chopper, so that means it hit the ground first. Up in the left corner of the screen, it will tell you the type of hit. It'll say something like chopper, ground, or something like that if it, if it hits the ground. If it's a fly ball, uh, though, then um, it, will, it will indicate as such. So, um, the, I, the idea is to indicate whether the, the ball can be caught for an out or not. Oop, that's a homer. Six hundred and seventy feet, and I earned a bonus out. Woohoo! Strike one. There's a piece will pop up. So. The fact that I could get this script running so quickly is a tribute to how portable TCL really is. Um, this version in 19, the version of Tickle in 1998, <laughs> I mean, there's got to have been a half a dozen or more revisions to TCL since then. So this this was when it was still quite young, and the script still runs. They they've maintained backward compatibility quite well, and I don't know, man. I mean, th this this game. I don't I don't remember how long it took me. It probably took me weeks to write this. I mean, I, but it's quite impressive in a short amount of time what you can accomplish with this language. I got a double. Can I go for three? Nope, not gonna be happening. So oh, that's nice, 15 point double. Another homer it looks like. Wham! 500 feet, oh, another bonus out. Got all that one. 743 feet. Boy, I'm hitting home runs every time I swing now. Woohoo! It's not the mammoth home runs. You can get over a thousand feet. I've, I know that for a fact. Eh, get out of here. Another homer. Uh, that was a wild pitch. Very tip of the plate. That was a hard grounder. Come on, get down, get down, get down. Yes. Going for two. Right. What, what, 
I got 360 points. New high score. Well, that's it, I guess, for this video. Um, again, just wanted to demonstrate, you know, my early programming when I was uh, first starting off in this language. It's great. And I, I can't remember, you know, I can't recall really how long it took me to write this, but it's still pretty darn fun. I will, um, I'll make improvements over time, and, um, and oh, I see this is this color is bad, so I need to fix it, but. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, thanks for watching, guys. And really, you should consider this language for, you know, not everything, but for some things. Um, quick GUIs. Uh, I don't know. It, I, I, don't, I don't know a better tool, in my opinion. If you need a quick GUI, this, this is the way to go. Hey, thanks for watching.